Okay, so we will do background design for those who have been... So, once again, I said it every time, but of course if you're French or if you want to speak another language in the chat you can, but I will reply and speak in English. I'm sorry for, for my awful accent. But if I have to do the live in, uh, in English because most of the people who, will, who want to watch the process of this drawing don't speak French and they will probably sp uh, watch the replay. If they're living in the US, they're probably uh, sleeping right now, so... But on the chat, you can speak the language you want. But it's better if it's English, French or Japanese because otherwise I, I, I will not understand. You can write in, you can write in German if you want that. Should I explain again how the perspective works? Or is it okay now? Everyone uh, downloaded the the grid stuff and everyone knows how to how to draw a proper perspective hello Heiser bring me oui ben j'habite au Japon c'est plus pratique quand même de parler la langue quand on quand on habite dans le pays depuis un certain temps tant que I thought I thought you watched the previous live and you knew how to do. I'm really disappointed here. No, but okay, I will explain again. Um, for the explanation, I will uh, turn off uh, the excellent soundtrack of Into the Breach because I would like to focus on my explanation. It's very confusing. In normal time, so if there is music on the on the back, I, I will lose myself. So uh, it starts like this. <laughs> so basically, I, I want to draw something like this. Um, you all recognize this drawing, the the infamous JoJo drawing, as uh, Twitter likes to call it. Fortunately. Um, so, the character will be in the same environment, so I would like to match this atmosphere, if possible. So, of course, it looks like this. <laughs> yes, it doesn't look at all like the, the previous one, but trust me. So we have what we call the Taihi. It's my character. I will import it in my drawing. So, oh no, oh no, can you see my mistake already? It's okay, we will multi multi multiply her, not a big deal. So I want to, ha to have the scale of the room. So I'm putting a character. And it will probably be like this. Thank you, Erika. Thanks for following the channel. You arrived just in time for the, the explanation that nobody wants to hear except Tomoka. So here is my character. So for this drawing, it will not be as useful as uh, for the for Sarah's room because in Sarah's room there were many objects, and they needed to be to have the proper proportions. But in this one, there will be no object or not a lot. It's basically just background, so we don't really care about. 
character reference, but anyway, we'll put one. Let's say it's uh, she will be like this. Just for now. So if I start by the beginning, I have this. It's my rough, my rough drawing of the room. I want a room with uh, pillars. We'll have this kind of shape. And a lot of colors. And there will be many, many um, patterns on the walls and stairs around here and here maybe an altar or something like this I don't know yet so I have my main idea there will be a bit of water here around here and here the main uh, alley so I made a approximative rough doesn't look so good for now. Doesn't have to be. Salut Charline. Eh oui, toujours. Le BG des BG, finalement. Petite blague. Petite blague gratuite. C'est gratos. Vous venez ici et c'est déjà tout gratos. Thanks for explaining again. Thank you, Sophie, for listening carefully to this explanation. Hello. Sardine qui est prime. Pas mal, pas mal ce dessin. <laughs> uh, I have a question about the grid. Not the grid, the grid. Did you do it by yourself? So for the grid, you have to do it by yourself. In my case, I stole my boss's grid. Maybe you can find it on the internet, I don't know. But this one is Tomar Roman's Greed. So that's the one we used in my office, but everyone used the same, but I have another um, co-worker, Yann Le Gall, who made his own Greed. So you, you can just make your own Greed. It's not so complicated. Um, I will do the explanation about the Greed again. So it will be done once more. So basically you have a Greed. You just start by doing the vanishing line, you know, the this line. I spit it on my screen. Sorry for that. It's because I watched uh, this episode of Friends where Gary Oldman spit when he speaks. And I, I spit it again. Sorry, just a second. Okay. <laughs> um, so the most difficult one is this one, the pink one. But you can make it the color you want. In my case, it's pink. In Thomas Roman's case. Yeah. It's a smart object, of course. So you just have to create the, the grid. Maybe you can find some on the internet. But you can create it. It's not so long. You just have to trace lines, duplicate them, make enough to have a proper grid. You make, of course, the green one and the blue one. The, the blue one is special. We'll not use it today, for example. So you can just make this one and import it in your drawing. Okay, ça c'est ma bonne grille. Ça si je vais l'appeler grid. Uh, so you have the grid and you need to match your angle. So you start by uh, moving it. You find where the vanishing point should go. So it's something like this maybe. So you can see that it follows your lines. See? The green part is following your lines here and here. Approximately, you don't have to follow the rough too, too seriously, but it's not high enough, maybe. 
Allez, non. Oh non. Something like this. And then when you have your first, uh, your vanishing point, you just have to uh, match the green angle. Uh, on Mac, I never remember. No. Must be this. Okay, and you match this one. And ta -da! You have your grid. And now you just have to follow your grid and. Hop! Perspective part is done, you know, you just have to follow this every time you trace something. Not so complicated, right? Mais les grilles dans Photoshop, j'ai jamais rien capté. C'est parce qu'en fait, c'est pas des grilles dans Photoshop. Parce que, yes, you have the grid option in Photoshop. It's in... Somewhere, maybe in, view, in a window, and you have the grid included in Photoshop. But this one is not Photoshop's one, it's a homemade grid because Photoshop grid are too complicated to use. I don't know how it's working, I, I never understood myself. So, yeah, it's better to, to, to create your own grid. Uh, when the grid is done, you would think, okay, now we have the grid and we will trace all the lines by ourselves, just following this stuff. Yes, we could do that, but it would be too long and too difficult to make the patterns properly. For example, if I, if I make uh, uh, the pattern of, uh, of the floor here, you see, like this. If I draw it here, it may be approximative because it's going far. So what we will do is we will create a smart object, of course. You know them now. I know you like them. So I will erase this grid because I put it mine already. Okay. So the smart object is the plan of the floor. So basically, it would be something like this. I make it really approximative because I already put it mine. So, so okay, let's say it's something like this. It's not, uh, it's not accurate, huh? it's uh, just uh, to make an example. And you convert it into in smart object. Oh. So you have your smart object. So now you can put it on your grid. And adjust it to the floor you're making. So something like this, up, 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 okay. Now you have your smart object, you make it, you adjust it so it can match the, it was way too long. So it can match the floor. And then you can uh, do your pattern like this. Oh, this is the pattern of my floor. Great. 
Nice. Wow, it really looks great. Okay. You duplicate it as many times as you want. And ta-da, it's magic. It's here. Okay. So I will erase this smart object because I have mine already. So we will work on this one. Oui, exactement. Et après on rentre dans sa pièce, exactement. C'est ça. Bah ouais. Et encore. And the, the thing we didn't see be last time, maybe tonight we can do it. It's created a smart object into the smart object. Because if you don't want to draw all the... If you don't want to color and draw all the floor by yourself, it's too long, it's a bit boring, just create as I did before. Just let me check. Yeah, okay. Well, it's un peu tout pareil, en vrai. Thanks a lot. Gros Halbuer. Gros Halbuer. Thanks a lot for coming here on this stream. You could watch famous streamers, but you preferred to follow this channel instead and I'm really really grateful. I will make you proud. I hope. <laughs> so you can make just this kind of pattern. Convert it into smart object. Huh? Thank you, FA Nova 3. Attendez, on crop. 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 On crop. So you can uh, put it everywhere. Like, wow, we don't care. It will not be like this actually, so I'm just uh, doing it this way, but I will not keep it this way. And you can enter your smart, smart object. And of course, uh, do directly the, the real line and the real color in here. No, I create a new calc, it's not for, uh, for the chiens. Okay, let's say you want to do like this and it's just a quick example. Hein? Et le faire tu pourrais comme ça quelconque. And put some texture. You can. You have to save every time, so of course I should have done all the, the stuff, huh? but uh, you can do like this. Huh? And it will be magically on your drawing. Ta-da! Wow. But I don't want it to be like this. So. Okay, it was the explanation. Everyone got it, I'm, I'm sure. Okay, 
ok, 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 ok. okay. So now I can put the music back. Alors. Oh, I, I missed uh, many of your messages. Sorry, I will take just a few seconds to read it. Hello, Monsieur Loïc, did you? Unfortunately, I saw those videos about Japanese Trump supporters. It is not so scary because, yeah, they're ob obviously uh, dumbasses, but um, it's really a minority of people that are influenced by the far right uh, movement, the far right Japanese movement. So they speak loud and you can find them on Twitter, but this is really not the majority of people. Like in every country, there is uh, stupid guys and maybe Japan has more than <laughs> your usual fare of uh, stupid people. No, 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 that's a joke. We have an even community of, uh, of stupid people in Japan, I guess. That's a shame because Japanese really don't do a lot of marches. They they usually stay quiet, but the only time they uh, go on the street is to do this kind of stuff. So I don't know. Mais... Quand j'étais à Pivot, je passais tous les jours devant Vitco Cagne. Je savais même pas qu'ils avaient une boutique de sardine. Ils ont encore un, un local. Oh, wow! Ouais, Cadiz Majoris, c'est ma première bande dessinée. C'était il y a longtemps. Beaucoup d'erreurs de jeunesse dans cet album. Enfin, je l'aime bien, mais j'aurais dû le faire différemment. Mais tout le monde a été super sympa avec moi là-bas et m'a beaucoup, beaucoup poussé. Donc, je les remercie tous. Surtout Fabien Grolo. My besta. Yes, it's Inception. The problem of this technique is um, uh, it's really your your um, your file will become really heavy. So if you do the color on a smart object inside a smart object and so on, your file will be crazy heavy and there will be a crazy heavy temp file. So if you're the kind of people like Oh, I don't like temp file, I erase them. You may erase your um, PSB. The smart objects are saved in PSB. So be careful about that. So yeah, with my new iMac, I can, I can uh, do smart objects and in the office of course I can, but I remember on my uh, previous laptop, I, it was really, really slow because it takes a lot of memory. I just took a first look into the XMAC Volume 2. Are you streaming too? I will check. Thanks, yes, it was really fun. I wish I'd have more time to uh, involve into this kind of web webzines, fanzines and stuff like this, but I don't have time anymore. But I was really happy to, to participate to X Magazine and I love PO Studio, so... They all know each other or what? Comment t'arrives à avoir une vision d'ensemble sans que ça casse ton workflow ben, En général, je mets la... ça à côté. C'est juste que là, à cause du stream euh, et de, de la fenêtre d'OBS, de Streamlabs, je peux pas. J'ai pas assez de place sur mon Photoshop. En général, j'ai tout l'écran pour Photoshop. Et du coup, je mets ça à côté. Comme ça, dès que je fais un trait, je vois ce qui se passe sur le, 
euh, des saints principales. Et de toute façon, euh, c'est pour des set tailles, donc c'est jamais vraiment pour des dessins finaux que je fais des, on se fait des smart objects. Merci de sardine. Ah, bah tu changes la couleur. Mais oui, il faut mieux être sûr de toi. Mais tu l'adaptes, tu, tu fais un tu pipette et tu la changes. Tu gardes ton rose. So I want to keep some water on the sides. If I draw here, is it no? Is it on the drawing? No. Ça commence où? Here. Hein? I could just, uh, you know what? Let's just copy paste this one. of water yeah but it will not match the the stairs anymore if I want this kind of shape no I thought maybe I could make kind of a skull shape here a bit the mood, the atmosphere of the previous drawing, so we could have an altar around here. See something like this. Could be fun. Let's try to keep this idea.
but I also wanted it to be a bit more constructed for my pillars. Ah, but I like the shape of the skull, so let's keep it this way. And we'll put the pillars somewhere. Thanks, Puns Grosspot, Puns Durgant, Puns Durgant. I did it. I said your name. Faut avoir des piliers qui soient pas bien alignés. On s'en branle, non? Do you care if the pillars are not aligned? I want to see this and if I put a pillar right in the middle. Come ça. Okay. Un truc à peu près comme ça. It's just to see that I duplicate it. I, actually, I will do a smart object with this shape and just flip it. I want to have an idea. Okay, and then here we can put an altar. Some signs. Esoteric signs. Oh my god, it's full of mysteries. Okay, and it will match a bit this kind of uh, shape, so... Okay. So now, the elevation we don't care for now, I would call it elevation. I remember what it is, and I will put it in uh, purple, it means I will destroy it at some point. This is my uh, ceiling, and oh yeah, this one is my uh, main Okay. So it's time to put a wall. Okay.
and the wall will match the atmosphere of the previous drawing so is I put my tai chi so this is where we will have a problem it's supposed to be approximately the size of the wall but here it's a way bigger space so <laughs> so this is where I have to be more precise approximately like this and we'll make her a bit taller okay so now I will have plenty of time to think about what I can put in these walls Once again, I will just draw, draw half of the drawing and then duplicate it. You have to think about the time you're spending on this drawing. I can't spend my whole life doing this one. On va faire un escalier après ici. Un petit peu rigolo. Pouvoir faire derrière là, tac. avec des trous dans les murs encore. The usual. So now I want to draw the pillars. with the basic brushes for in my work we always use the normal brush we just change when we are doing colors and stuff like this but usually I just draw and actually now I'm using one with the dissolve effect and it's the one where I can have the, the pressure of the pen but usually we use it without pressure <laughs> Yeah, there is an advantage to to use it without the pressure is that you can uh, uh, just press shift and make um, straight lines so when we are working in some architecture stuff it's way easier to do this you know because if you have the pressure you cannot do these straight lines unfortunately will do like this. Ah. What? No. <laughs> Usually it's not working. You see? It's not working very well. You cannot do like this. I mean... I don't know why it's working right now, but it's usually not working if you don't use the... <laughs> if you have the pressure of the pen. What is happening right now? Do I have the pressure? Anyway. Typical. When you want to make an example about something and it's not working. Just, <laughs> just at this exact moment. Okay. 
So I don't know where to stop my elevation, right? Because I don't know where I should stop. I should stop my pillar. Because I made two different uh, smart objects. So what I will have to do is uh, copy paste. Copy paste this. No, Ali. In layer 5. Dot PSB. The PSBs transform vertically. No, I said vertically. I think it was a bit like this. Mais non, mais ça va pas marcher comme ça. Lolo, mais réfléchis à ta stupidité. <rire> Vu que tu l'as pas fait symétrique. N'écoutez rien à ce que je viens de dire. Et ne fermez pas votre Smart Object. <rire> Vous savez quoi On va l'arrêter où on veut et on changera plus tard. Ça n'a aucune importance. Let's do au jeu Mais on voit que ce sera à peu près par là quand même. C'est au jeu mais c'est à peu près là. The pro tip here, if you want to make a smart object of a pillar, is to make it round. If you make it round, I will explain to you. If you make it round, it's going in every kind of perspective. This is a pro tip by uh, Vincent Nien. We learned it from Thomas Romain, I suppose. Pro tip, make a round pillar. So you can paste it and it will be okay. You can put it in the perspective and it will be okay. If you don't make it round, if you make it this way, for example, Say I make it this way, so it's a see. Then it will not match the perspective if I want to paste it here. So I will have to make it again, and you will not be able to give it to your bar. If you don't work in animation production, you don't care. But usually you can give directly this asset to the production, and they can reuse it on other backgrounds. But if it's squared one then you cannot paste it anywhere this is the pro tip it's not my pro tip so i cannot say i uh, invented it but you know since i explained it today we can maybe uh, call it the locatelli pro tip yeah. you call it as you want eh? but uh, locatelli pro tip sounds well Hello Fiat 500 Ah, je t'attendais Fiat 500, je t'attendais pour aller faire pipi. Because I just drank a, a little Sapporo. I show you the... <laughs> I show you the can, but actually it's not sponsored by Sapporo. But Sapporo, if you want to sponsor me, I would be really happy. Uh, le thème today, c'est un temple qui ressemble à ça. Voilà. Temple, je dis temple parce qu'on appelle temple tout ce qui ressemble à un lieu avec des piliers à des endroits. Tête de mort. On est un peu dans les vanités, nous c'est comme ça. On s'en branle des milliers. Tu t'es déjà servi d'outils 3D pour faire une base rapide Yes Good question. We use as well some 3D softwares. We use... I'm really not good with it, but Thomas Romain uses a lot uh, SketchUp because it's the easiest um, software. When you don't know 3D, you use SketchUp because uh, it's like 3D for dumb people. So I use, I know how to use uh, SketchUp, 
not like Thomas romanizing it. I can just do basic stuff, but yes, for example, when I have to do a spinning stairs, it's Cayenne Colimaçon and stuff like this, it's too difficult to do it in perspective like this, so I use, uh, I use SketchUp. But I'm not a 3D artist, I don't know how to use 3D. And we have a lot of 3D artists in my office, so... Now I, I don't use it anymore. Uh, ouais, on va expliquer la couleur juste après. Thanks, idle animator. Idle. Idle animator. Yes, we'll explain the color process because I, I guess I will make the pillar completely, so from scratch. So at least you will have an idea of how to make, uh, how to, we'll have uh, the, the whole uh, pillar done. And maybe the, the floor. I will not have the time to finish everything. It's just a base and you have to picture in your mind what it will look like in the end. So you see we will have some, uh, some water. In, in SketchUp, you can put the water in uh, in blue like this. I like to do it in SketchUp and put the shadows directly with the the light from the the, the sun and stuff. It's really funny. Bam! You see. I will make a short pause because I need to go to pee pee. Yes, papa. Do you like people who say papa? My papa said that to me once. Yes, papa. <laughs> the word Murphy. Uh, on dira rien, Thomas promis. Ouais, tout le monde connaît Thomas Romain. Je vous laisse la BO de Into the Breach by some. Great musician. I don't remember his name, I'm so sorry. It's Ben Prunty. I'm coming back in a few minutes. Je vais essayer de pas me faire pipi dessus aujourd'hui.